Yasin Malik was the leader of the JKLF group. They were responsible for the genocide of the Kashmiri Pandits. He was also involved in terror financing. He was arrested by the Indian government and has been in jail. The National Investigation Agency had demanded the maximum punishment, the death penalty. But Malik had accepted all his crimes in terror fu funding case and the genocide of Kashmiri Pandits. He was against the death penalty and had pleaded for the life sentence. He said that since 1994, He stopped using guns and killing people. From 1994, he started following the principles of Mahatma Gandhi and stopped killing people. The court noted these facts. After 1994, he said that when Atal Bihari Vajpayee was the Prime Minister, the Indian government gave him a passport and allowed him to travel and speak around the world with news channels. He said the government did not give him the death penalty that time. However, yesterday on 25th May, the court announced its verdict giving Malik the life imprisonment. In Jammu and Kashmir, Srinagar, many supporters of Malik protested against this life imprisonment. They said he is not a terrorist but a political leader. The government felt the situation may escalate. Businesses were shut in Srinagar and authorities feared stone pelting and protests. And this is why they deployed the Indian Army to maintain security. Now the court has imposed life imprisonment on Yasin Malik. Similarly, the court has also filed a case against his supporters who helped him in the genocide of the Kashmiri Pandits. The most important terrorist against whom a case has been filed is Farooq Ahmed Dar, also known as Bitta Karate. Even though Malik didn't get the death penalty, the news of his imprisonment has brought closure to Kashmiri pundits. Those who lost their loved ones in the genocide are happy with the verdict. and hope the other terrorists are dealt with in the same way.